Now, as Ravens fans, y'all know we are thirsty. When it comes to a player that got released, especially a player that has a following behind his name, first thing we're thinking about, ooh, Eric DaCosta, go ahead and make that move. Ooh, Eric DaCosta, make it happen. How can this player fit with the Ravens? How can we use him with our scheme? How can he make our team better? And it was no different. When the Cowboys made this surprising move, at least looking at it from the outside perspective, and release Jalen Smith. So, what we're going to talk about is, of course, should the Ravens sign recently released linebacker Jalen Smith? And we got some other questions, too. Let's do it. Yeah, this feels like a dream. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video and another episode of NFL questions from subs. And this is a series where you can ask me any NFL question you want to, and we answer it in a video just like this. If you ever want to be part of it, you can send me an email to teamkeepitclean at gmail.com or for the patrons. You know, y'all can send it directly on Patreon. Y'all already know. Uh, and appreciate all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. If you want to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, you can go to patreon.com slash engravenvids. And if you don't want to, you don't have to. And so you wouldn't go to patreon.com slash engravenvids. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I always appreciate how patient you all are because I know stuff gets busy and I can't always do every single question that gets emailed. Uh, so y'all, I uh, thank you for bearing with me and I thank you for not being like, oh, you didn't do my question. So thank you for that. Y'all know the title question of this video. So without further ado, let's jump into it. And the first question, well, should I say the thirst question came from literally everybody. I got like 50 million DMs about this and a lot of tweets and everything about should the Ravens sign Jalen Smith? Because again, like I said earlier, y'all know how us Ravens fans get down. Somebody hit the market and it's boom. Like even this morning, this morning I had just recorded the intro for this question from Sub's video and then boom, Stefan Gilmore got released. So we'll talk about that after this because a lot of Ravens fans want that. But anyway, first, Jalen Smith, first and foremost, should the Ravens sign Jalen Smith? Well, why did Jalen Smith get cut? First and foremost, when he got cut last night, I was scared because I'm like, it, the timing was just really bad. It didn't make any sense. Then the fact that Dallas would have to eat all that dead money, um, it just, why would they cut him now heading into week five? I just, it didn't make any sense to me. Worst case scenario, okay, you bench him. You already paying him all this money. You bench him and, and hope that after the benching, things get better. Or then you cut him in the offseason or at least trade. I, I, just, I didn't get it, but it did say that they tried to trade him. Um, but even still, if the trade doesn't work out, okay, you keep him around. I just, I didn't understand. But anyway, um, said Micah Parsons. He had been looking a lot better than him. And Keanu Neal, who had moved into the linebacker role, he was looking a lot better too uh, than Jalen Smith. And we, of course, know Jalen Smith's story. He had the, uh, the leg injury um, that dropped his draft stock big time. Uh, but the Cowboys still took a chance on him, and they recently paid him the big money deal. Um, but it's been said that he has been struggling with sideline to sideline speed. Um, and he's been struggling covering, he's been struggling in coverage, and he's been struggling making tackles, and he's been getting uh, pushed back. He, he been, it's been hard for him to come off blocks. So, uh, look, I'm, I mean, we could be like that person who's thinking about dating somebody. And I know this is how Ravens fans are a lot, and I'm sure it's every fan base, but with us Ravens fans, it could be like this a lot. We could be like that person that's, that's looking to date somebody that just has a bad track record. But us Ravens fans, we like, oh, we can change them. If, if they get with us, they'll change, they'll be different. And when you look at different players that have come in, even recently, and, and even if we just focus on Cowboys players alone, on defense, when they came to the Ravens, because, you know, Cowboys, they're not known for defense. So if they cut a defensive player, it's like, ooh, is this guy really that bad? He must be. But look at Brandon Carr. Brandon Carr, he came over to the Ravens. He did his thing. I love Brandon Carr. All reliable. Was he the fastest? No. Was he the strongest? No. Was he the best cornerback in the world? No, but he was all reliable. He came through, and he was always there when we needed him. And then, even more recently than that, still at the cornerback position, even though he's hurt right now, but he was looking good before Chris Westry. Not that he was looking like some lockdown corner because he did give up a big play every game, but he also made nice plays every game. 
So after he got that, gave up that big play in every game, he got it out of his system. After that, it was smooth sailing. So with Chris Westry, um, he's another one. Cowboys, they let him go. And Ravens say, oh, no, no, come here. Come here. Come through. Come on. So with Jalen Smith, I wouldn't be mad if they signed Jalen Smith. Um, and it could be one of those things where maybe a change of scenery would be best for him. Well, I mean, now he ain't got no choice. But... Maybe with a change of scenery and better defensive coaching. Because it's like with Cowboys, you know they're going to put up a lot of yards, a lot of passing yards. You know they're going to put up a lot of offense, a lot of points. But defense, that hasn't really been their thing. But you know with Ravens, defense is. I'm sure they could find a role for Jalen Smith. It wouldn't be anything too big from jump. Because the defense is very complex. It's very complicated. And we have guys in place already. But if they were to sign him, I just, it would be one of those things where the potential is there, um, but I'm not going to be like, All right, oh man, this dude going to be a stud with the Ravens. It's possible he could be. Things could turn around. He could improve on a lot of stuff with the right coaching and whatnot. Um, so, I mean, it, it couldn't hurt. It couldn't hurt because it wouldn't be like, oh, he would be out there and he would be a starter. Because they got Patrick Queen right now. Um, and, and Patrick Queen, he's been struggling with tackling. He's been struggling coming off of blocks and whatnot. Now, his football IQ is, is going through the roof. And his sideline and sideline speed is there. Again, with Jalen Smith, it was said that his sideline and sideline speed has been a struggle. Um, and, but his straight line speed is fine, but his sideline and sideline and covering the field has been rough. They said he'd been blowing coverages to us. Oh, man, you, you would fit right in with the Ray, but no. I, so, I, mm, it couldn't, if they decided to take a flyer, it couldn't hurt. Because, uh, again, he wouldn't be out there full time. He would not be a star. He would just be a super depth guy. And if you can have a super depth guy that has super good potential, okay, cool. You never know what the right coaching or whatnot, but. <sighs> So I, if it happened, I'd be cool with it. Um, but if it didn't happen and I don't expect it to happen, I'd also be cool with that. Next question coming from a bunch of Thirsty Ravens fans about Stefan Gilmore, who was just cut, released. Patriots got rid of him this morning, literally this morning. Um, he, of course, was dealing with the quad injury and the Patriots were like, mm, uh, nope, you can go. Goodbye. See you. Because uh, they weren't going to give him a raise. He wanted a raise. He had a whole little contract disputes earlier. They put him on a PUP list. So he was out until at least week six while he was recovering. Um, and they I'm not sure the, his health status right now. But a lot of people, the boom, when that happened, you, you know Ravens fans. You, you know Ravens fans were all over that one too. Should the Ravens sign Stephon Gilmore? Now, would Stephon Gilmore be a nice addition to these Ravens? Yes. Can Stephon Gilmore play man coverage, which these Ravens love to do? Yes. Can Stephon Gilmore tackle? Yes. Is Stephon Gilmore a turnover machine? No, he's not. But, again, the Ravens cornerbacks right now, none of them are turnover machines. Marcus Peters was, but he's out. But these, these Ravens corners, they play man. So they try to make sure that you don't catch the ball. They don't really go to catch the ball, but they try to make sure you don't catch the ball. Yes, Anthony Avery does have the two picks, which we love and appreciate, and Anthony Avery's been killing it. But they're not turnover machines. Uh, and that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. Uh, but so Stephon Gilmore, he would fit right in. But the only place where he wouldn't fit right in is when it comes to the money because Stephon Gilmore, it's been said as of this morning that he is looking for a contract that pays <laughs> now again you know your services are going to be requested by several teams so i got no problem with somebody trying to come up and still trying to get a lot of money while they're on the sort of back end of their nfl career no problem with it stefan gilmore i ain't mad at you one bit but stefan gilmore it's been said that he is looking for a contract that pays him at least 15 mil per year at least 15 mil per year. And <laughs> 15 mil per year to a free agent cornerback by the Ravens, those two just don't mix. They don't mix. So Stefan Gilmore will not be joining the Baltimore Ravens. Um, they only have like one or maybe two mil max right now. They ain't really got that much money anyway. Now, again, 
the cap is cap. So if you really want somebody, you can figure out ways to make it happen. You can. But the Ravens won't. This is not. No, they're not going to make this move. They're not going to flip around numbers with the cap and whatnot um, in order to fit Stephon Gilmore under there. Because uh, they right now, they, they got Jimmy Smith back. He's been back the last couple of games. Uh, Anthony Avery and Marlon Humphrey, they've been playing well. Uh, and Chris Westry, he's not expected back soon, but he's going to be expected back eventually. And that'll help their secondary that much more, too. Um, so they'll along the way, they should be getting a little healthier there. Um, and then, of course, you got Brandon Stevens. You could move him around in some different places. Um, so their, their secondary definitely banged up. Deshaun Elliott, he's also been banged up, but he's a safety butt still. Um, Stephon Gilmore would be nice. <laughs> he would be nice. But it's just it's something that they're they not going to do. So it'll be great. And if you update your rosters in Madden after tomorrow on Thursday, then, hey, you, you could do it all you want to in Madden. But it's, uh, it's not going to happen uh, in real life. Next question, more so common, came from my guy Rainmaker. He said, I just saw an interview with Devontae Adams, and he said he watches film of Lamar Jackson to get hyped up for a game. That's respect, but coming from him, that's a next-level compliment. Shows that no matter what the suits say, the guys who play the game, they know a baller when they see one. And that is certainly true uh, because, again, you hear so much stuff from the people on TV, the media guys about Lamar Jackson. Uh, but it's always another story when it's the people that actually play the game. Uh, when they speak about him. So, yeah, and I love how um, my guy Strong Opinion Sports, uh, he, I, I love how he said it. He said, media guys are not usually football guys. And I was like, wow, that, that makes so much sense. The next question came from my guy Harry. He said, I know that it's early to be thinking about free agency this offseason, but I think the Ravens should be done drafting wide receivers and should go after someone like DJ Shark. Do, 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 do. He said, I think him on the outside and DuVernay and Hollywood in the middle, this could make our passing game a decent threat. What do you think? Now, when you say uh, the Ravens should be done with drafting wide receivers, what I think you're saying when you say that is that the Ravens don't need to draft any more wide receivers right now because they got Bateman and Tylen Wallace, they got Duvernay and they got Prochet and they got Hollywood and they got Boykin. So I, I think that's what you mean. I, I don't think you mean like they should be done drafting, trying to draft wide receivers forever. Um, so with uh, DJ Shark, I like DJ Shark. He'd be nice. But I think everything is just right now is based off of Sammy Watkins. What will Sammy Watkins do? How will he continue to see? Because so far, Sammy Watkins' impact has been huge it has been great sammy watkins has just been amazing man amazing has he put up all these flashy numbers no he hasn't but he's allowed hollywood to feast hollywood's literally been open all year long he has been open all year long and sammy watkins has been a receiver that his impact is not just through his catching and through his yards, but his impact has allowed his other guys to do their thing. So Mark Andrews benefits off of him. Hollywood been off, benefits off of him. And then, of course, he can benefit off of those two. And he's made his own plays, too. And he, Sammy Watkins has made some very veteran plays. Of course, the 4th and 19, him being able to find that soft spot in the zone. And then of course, there was a play last week against the Broncos, too. It was third and I want to say four, third and something. I forget. Lamar threw it to him. Sammy Watkins caught it. He was on uh, the rookie, Pat Sertan. Uh, Sammy Watkins caught it. He ran back. So I was like, oh, man, we ain't getting no first now. But then he turned around. He put his hand in the dirt and cut up field, and he got the first. So it's, it's veteran plays like that. It's, it's, it's not, again, not the big flashy numbers, but he continues to make veteran plays and help everybody else out.